Stream Deck. My name is Jordan Few. I had many sacrifices. I think the main one is after college I did an apprenticeship in judo. So for two years I went and lived part time at Cambly, which is a full time training centre training people for the Olympics. When I was younger and I, I sort of left school, I wanted to become a full time judo player and go to the Olympics. If I go down, I take lots of the pressure off my shoulder. Okay? One thing I do need to do is make sure my shoulder's not behind my body. I got into judo when I was a child in New Zealand. Um, a guy at my school did it uh, and put me in what we call a tomonagi, which is the classic sort of cowboy throw where they put you up on your leg. And he did that to me in the playground, like on the field. And he said, oh, it's judo. And uh, so I begged my parents and eventually they let me go to judo. I'll just get as high as I can, where that is, we'll see. At the moment, I'm in the Army Elite Squad, so top 30 in the Army or whatever. But to be honest, I'd rather just you know, go for my military career instead. But I'd always like to keep myself fit and everything. So you see, I'm in the Army now. Um, yeah, so I'd always definitely been going the Army route. And with that, combat sport's quite a big thing because um, one, just fitness requirement's quite high. So there was always a thing for that, but I was always just. My mum always said I should, so then I didn't fight my brother. <laughs> the three coats I've had, you know, those two back in Bath and Lance now, they've actually been quite an inspiration. Um, just meeting them, getting to know them. They've got to learn how to break fall because otherwise it will hurt a lot and they'll want to quit way sooner if they don't learn that. If they learn it, it won't hurt, they'll be able to keep going easily. Um, the best thing about judo for me is definitely the people. The, the people make it what it is. Um, we have a saying in the European Judo Union that judo is more than sport, and it really is that um, we often refer to people as being our judo family. And it's amazing, you can go anywhere in the world. Like I'm from New Zealand, I've been all over the world, and you walk into a judo club, and they may not speak English, they may not do the same throws or train quite the same way, but everyone's kind of the same person, and they're just the same as the people you train with at home, and they make you welcome. It's, it's kind of special that way. Saturday, 12 to 4, we have this competition between us, Winchester University, and Southampton University, and some friends. take away anything then yeah just some ways to work on technique if I went in for a throw something it didn't work why didn't it work what can I take away and just keep practicing when I get back in the day so. fighting I think the atmosphere of everything it's just so when you get into sort of high level do them there is sort of one big family sort of training each other and it, it is tough but you all going through it together sort of thing you all go through the hard times and it's it's quite good fun to just put the hours in do the fighting which is good fun anyway A lot of people do lack that controlled aggression which judo does facilitate and the discipline as well. It's quite a disciplined environment. There's some positives to take away, I think. 
and some things I can definitely work on. I know I need to improve my overall fitness because getting tired you start getting dragged down. So it's just the main things I'm going to take away is posture and keeping up. Uh, but generally yeah, I thought I did better than I thought I would do. So that's always nice. I was shattered, I'm not going to lie, before I even started. But um, yeah, I think I think I pulled it off quite well. Uh, only improvement there really in that last fight. I think he's mainly tired in this, but I started just letting myself go. So I think he got one throw on me, which was quite good. But yeah, still one in the end. That's it, yeah? Cool, done. Thank you.